Hey, I'm Nick Cathalon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21. It's career mode. Uh, we are on episode 32. And for for this one, so the, le, let's get this one out of the way real quick. Uh, I'm still on hi hiatus. I do not have time. I am so busy right now. Uh, if you've been tracking, following, uh, not skipping intros, for example, then you know what's up. But... I'm sure some of you don't. I'm sure probably half or more uh, don't know what's up. So quick, quick rundown on things. Uh, I recorded nearly a week ahead of uh, where I was at in kind of the grand scheme of things. And the reason why I had done that was because I had two major things coming up. One, I took a trip to New York City, a uh, 10 year anniversary with my wife and uh, we hadn't done anything major. In fact, we didn't even get a honeymoon uh, when we first got married. So we never got a big a trip. That so speed. we've been planning this for a couple years, and we did it. And it was awesome. We went to New York uh, four days. Uh, the, the final day of it, there was a hurricane, uh, but it ended up kind of missing the city itself. We just got dumped on like six and a half inches of rain uh, and we were backpacking for the trip to make it an affordable kind of thing and so we were hopping in and out of subway trains that weren't running as normal because Break of the, uh, the the storm and and so we just got dumped on rain wise uh, it was warm it was tropical so you know uh, it was all good. Had a lot of fun on the trip, though. I have a video for you on that. At some point, the reason why I haven't been able to put that out yet, or the reason why you haven't seen content, because that was four days and I was a whole week ahead on recording, uh, is that I've also been in the middle of purchasing a home and moving our, our business, the daycare, uh, and moving my parents so uh, I, I'm now suddenly going to be one of those people living with their their parents uh, in a separate living space but still having to live with my parents uh, health not good and so we had to make a major life-changing decision to uh, pool resources and buy a home together so the, the four of us my wife and I and my parents are, are co-owning uh, a, a large home and uh, yeah it's it, it's set up in a way that uh, we don't necessarily have to see a whole lot of each other but we're there to help them when when they need help uh, we're moving the daycare with us and I'm obviously moving the base is quite slow uh, on this my section. setup the riders are obviously here giving something back. with we us should be in for quite uh, a finish. to do that and my wife and I actually are living technically in another building on on the property uh, at night for privacy well anyway what you came for is this and that getting the home we got the keys uh, a couple days ago yeah, very very busy uh, altering the home making it ready for the daycare uh, making it ready for for living there was work that needed to be done on the house and there's still work uh, Got my parents moved in, and which is why I can finally record because they had already moved out of their house uh, a week ago, and so they were staying here, just you know, a few feet away, to where I couldn't get any work done even when I was here and available, which has literally been just a few minutes. Uh, we're already seeing a huge gap to 12 riders in the break, so we may may need to pick things up at some point. There's there's really not much tempo uh, coming out of this group, but there does appear to be a about seven riders working on the front so I assume at some point this uh, gap will stabilize and we'll start to pull them back and speaking of one and done race I, I, I literally have minutes and then I've, I've got to go pick up fencing material and start putting in a fence on the, on the house uh, or replacing a, a fence so let's do this it's a minor race it's not a big deal uh, but I didn't have time to sim another month of the season before I could then record uh, the next one-off kind of race. Uh, I just kind of had to pick up and, and get
get in here and do what I can do. So, uh, I didn't even pick out a team for this, but Razanaukas looking fantastic today. Uh, this is a cobbled race, which is not our strength. We have one guy who's good at that in Galvez, and Galvez is not here. So, uh, you can see there's little minor hills, but it's very minor. The last cobbled section is far enough away from the finish that we should be able to get things together. By the way, uh, I'm hoping to get back to regular scheduled content in the coming days. I don't know how quickly I'll get back to full time on that, but uh, soon enough. Anyway, first cobbled section already hitting it. Uh, right now there's no tempo. It's not a big deal, but we do need to make sure as we are very poor in the cobbles that we are ready for that. But I need to pick out what guys I'm going to ride for. Razanaukis, not fast, but I love his plus five. Uh, Sato, new sprinter, is pretty dang lightning fast though he doesn't have great acceleration but today that 75 sprints looking pretty dang good so uh, let's let's make that decision number one debase has great acceleration but he's <laughs> oh me luck really hot, so for the moment, we Kalnins, get up buddy get up effect, uh, he, he's one of my switchers too Falling off he goes behind. four That's guys uh, no just how about relay all right, let's get them back up there. And then we have uh, Debesse, Pluto. Okay, we could ride for Pluto. And then I think Aribe is going to be our other obvious choice as we have that going on. Sweet. Okay, and Galnins, how are we looking? I mean, there's not a lot of tempo, and it looks like two guys came back to support for the other teams. And Galnins, yeah, he, he's got really poor race day condition minus three so we will leave him as the unprotected rider riding on his own if he makes it and can help us he's a decent little sprinter but uh, in fact his poor flat raining i think he's gonna end up being one of the first guys to get used anyway so uh, yeah not in the sprint train today for him these guys still have not made it back up here which is surprising really didn't think there was much tempo out there but maybe that large breakaway has uh opened things up a little bit uh you do not need to be on that but we do need to go effort up <laughs> effort up as in forward not backwards bud not backwards it's a bad time for him uh i think he's gonna be in trouble we're gonna have to just try to hold position through this uh sequence of cobbled sections he's the only one we need to keep an eye on at the moment there's already riders out the back and he's got no energy and he is done let's just put him on auto uh, he could make it back there's a great chance he will but he's so weak at this point 109k and this is a good opportunity for water let's grab one of these guys on protection duty like debase there was one quick cobbled sector in there but nothing serious he's on his own he's fine he can get himself water all right so far so good that was that was among the worst of the cobbled sectors we're gonna see we've got a little two-star sector here we just need to get through this in one piece you can see there's fatigue in the legs but you have such a long run into the finish once you're out of the cobbled sectors that it really should just come down to a sprint should now on, on paper, the way the game's set up, it's all the cobbled rated guys that are the favorites. And we'll see if the teams focus on that, right? You'd think this will be a classic style where in the last 10k, all the classics riders, all those cobbled riders, are going to attack, attack, attack over and over again. I, I would presume that's how this goes. But we are down now to the final cobbled sector. It looks like we are now through it. We're past it. Debesse hangs on. Kalnins never got back. He's he's out. We're down to 81 in the peloton, down to 10 in the break. And their lead is shrinking now under two minutes. Now down to a minute 45, so we're definitely coming back quick. Ravenko, Debesse, Razanalkis, even Sato, pretty tired. Uh, Pluto's looking really good. He might be our guy today with the uh, race day condition bonus that he has. Maybe Sato. Uh, chance that it's not a rebate, but it's definitely down to those three guys are the three guys that will make up the sprint train. We will figure that out the order when we uh, get a little closer. Now a minute and a half to the lead riders. And 46k. This is 
that opportunity to grab some water. Uh, let's go ahead and use Razanalkis as he's of the protecting riders, the domestiques of the day. He's the one who could actually get water and make it back up there. Debesay is literally in survival mode. Revenko is very, very close to that himself. And there you go. Okay, water. Good to go for the end of the stage. Uh -oh, we have some fatigue in lanes. Let's get back in position. Is These guys at 78 are drifting so backward, which we cannot afford up. to do. 31k now. Okay. Hello, Kalnins. Cruising towards the end. Nearly 10 kilometers behind already. Down to 78. Group is shrinking because of the pace. The gap to the breakaway is now down to a half minute. We're going to bring them back quite soon. I can't do my 16 kilometer lead out thing as all my guys on protection are now toast. I have three riders. Uh, so this is not going to be that typical. And with the expected, uh, as I predicted, right, that you're going to get the classics riders attacking with 10k to go this is going to be difficult to keep in check one rider off the front i'm guessing that is one of the attacking out. riders it is pace. that's it not the rem like remnants the of the break and we're seeing a big attack right right here right okay now so on. this attack that's all those classics riders going together and with that kind of numbers i mean we're looking at three six nine eleven thirteen guys plus one ahead of them those 14 will ride away and take positions 1 through 14 if we do not immediately counter this. So, uh, let's take our 3 because that's all we have left. And we are going to take them and do this. Uh, let's put these 3 guys on auto. And let's figure out our order. I think resistance is going to matter because this is going to take some tempo so a 74 76 and a rebay might not be the best option even though he's better than a 74 73 pluto sato 75 71 that's top speed resistance 67 7, it's 74 it's pluto it's pluto this is about survival and not letting these guys get away from us which is why it's about survival more than it is about uh Okay, they have been countered. Some of those guys were not trying to break. Some of those guys were trying to prevent that break, and that's good for us. Down to 64 in the group. That that big uptick in tempo immediately dropped another chunk of riders. 20 off the back. 8 kilometers to go. Aribe, even with the plus 3 on his resistance, is still terrible on resistance, and that's why he is... Uh, leading the train. Where is Sato? Sato caught behind. Pluto caught behind. Come on, let's work these guys through. We still have one rider off the front. 6k to go. That's gel time for these guys. And once they make contact here, Sato, there. Okay, they are in place. Massive uptick. 4.8k. Now, this is flat rating right now. This is not sprint for a rebate, so he's only a 68. He's not that fast. 3k to go. Okay, can I sprint with a rebate and what he's got left? It's not, yeah, it's not damaging his teammates because he has no red bar. But that's now getting us within 1.9, 1.7. This is good territory now to actually sprint out with these guys. Sato, a little bit down but fairly good shape pluto's good sato low yellow bar lower red he's not gonna last very long that's why i'm waiting till 1.7 but pluto should be able to hold out right hander livens has that right hander but we're only five seconds back we should not have a problem catching him he's not gonna have sprint and then we we have we have the front ground we've got a real shot at this so, oh, it's a left-hander it's not a right-hander so we have the inside track sato gets us within the final kilometer Aleshin has taken off, so Pluto's a little further back now as we... 700 meters, I probably could have gone a little sooner with Pluto. I should have gone a little sooner with Pluto, but he doesn't have the top speed. He uh, the even like as the we're coming down the stretch he here, he, he's not gaining today. on those guys. He was losing a little ground, so I definitely should have gone a little bit sooner. Not top speed. 
it's a good result. We got sixth. We got eighth. We got two guys inside the top ten. Uh, I, I should have sent Pluto a little sooner. I mean, he's still got some red bar left. So Sato, I, I read that situation correctly. Kind of went the right way. I thought it was a right-hander. That that was very deceiving. That it ended up being a left-hander uh, at at the end there. Uh, I suppose I should have checked that. Uh, but there's your one and done. I have no time to do things. And yeah, I I should have started Pluto probably 200 meters sooner, which would have kept him a little closer to the front. Uh, Aleshin, who took that early jump. Uh, I thought he was too early, and he just about held out, but Christian Perry burst past him anyway. He did not get the win, but uh, we would have been in the top five. I don't think we would have been in the top three. We're just, you know, not that great in the sprint yet, but we've got potential because all we had was a rebate, and instead of having to, regardless of how he's doing, which he had a plus one, we didn't have to go with him. We had other options. They're just not necessarily faster options yet. They just were able to outlast a little more, but you know, you, you start grabbing a level or two, Sato especially, uh, even Pluto coming along, Kalnins, who had a terrible day, those guys are going to quickly overtake Aribe, and Aribe is just going to be a, a glorified lead-out guy uh, going forward, and that's it's going to have a, a trickle-down effect that's going to be very good for us. Um, but yeah, sprint is, sprints are still not our strength. That is all the time that I have, though. I'm DeKathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.